Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today we're going to have a look at what's in this box. It's a complete mystery. Do you have to make that joke every time? Yes, it's a complete mystery and we could find anything in this box. Or if you can read English, or possibly Japanese, is that Japanese? You might be able to work out that this is a Canadian cruiser tank, Ram Mark II, early production in 35th scale from Bronco Models. Less waffle, more sprue! There's quite a bit in this box, thus this what's in the box video. Get on with it! Okay. Here's the upper hull. It's a nice big cast piece. I don't know if the real thing was one big solid casting, but this is, so that's the way it is, I guess. I'm not totally sure if those lines that look a bit like mould lines are actually mould lines or maybe some sort of line from the casting that the real thing had. They are probably just mould lines though. At any rate, I think those areas are going to be covered by stowage boxes, so it's probably not even relevant. What is relevant though is that it looks like a very neatly moulded part with nice, subtle casting texture moulded in. Same as on the turret. I like this. It might not read as cast armour from a great distance on a model, so some do prefer this to be kind of exaggerated, but this looks right to me. There are quite a few sprues in this box. The first of which is this one with hull components. I don't actually know if this is the first one. I don't usually do these in any particular order. It's the first one I picked up. Anyway, these parts are mostly regular non-cast armour, so they're a lot smoother. Except, obviously, the couple of cast bits. Everything here looks nice and is pretty neatly moulded. There are a couple of little bits of flash here and there, but nothing too severe. As with pretty much every injection moulded plastic kit, you're going to have things like mould lines and potentially flash. You're going to have to clean up the sprue gates anyway, unless you're somehow inhumanly perfect at clipping stuff off the sprues. You probably aren't. Obviously I haven't built the kit yet, so I can't tell you if cleanup is going to be quick and easy or awful and tedious, but looking at these parts, I'm leaning towards the easy side of things. I have only built one Bronco kit before, the Anti-Air Staghound, and that kit was moulded pretty nicely. It did have some extremely fiddly bits that kind of annoyed me, but looking at these sprues, I don't think there's going to be anything quite that tiny and fiddly here. That said, there do look to be some possibly delicate parts, like on this sprue, those headlamps, with the mounting bracket moulded into the part. I think that looks really nice, but potentially easily broken. Delicate or not, I'm glad it's not a photo etch part. The detailing on this kit seems pretty good to me. I know pretty much nothing about the ram tank detail wise. Yes, we're all very surprised by that. So I can't tell you how accurate any of these bolts and doodads and bits of cast armour are, but they do look rather nice to me and I think it's going to build up to be a very convincing ram. There's a couple of sprues with the various wheels and running gear bits, and there's quite a few small parts here. I'm happy to note that they don't seem like they're going to need a lot of cleanup, which should save a bit of time, though it will probably still end up being a bit time consuming because there's a fair few parts here, but more parts just means we're getting good value for money, right? And if we're going by that logic, we're getting a lot of value out of these parts. These are some of the sprues for the tracks. Some of the sprues. I've got no idea how good these tracks are going to be, and they might be a breeze to put together. They might also drive me insane, but we can't know until I try. It looks like there are five parts per track link, so one thing I'm confident about is that they'll take a lot of time. So look forward to a 200 hour long build stream to put the tracks together. Just kidding, that would probably just end up being 200 hours of swearing and screaming and probably some crying. Anyway, there are eight of these sprues, and then there's another eight sprues with these. These are also track components. I am definitely going to be looking for aftermarket track options for this, just in case. We get a sprue of clear plastic bits that I've left in the bag to keep them nice and fingerprint free for as long as possible. Unsurprisingly, there is a little bit of photo etch, and it does look good, especially those grills. It also looks like some bending may be required. If you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of photo etch, but I'm going to be cautiously optimistic about this. Most of it should be fine. The rest is probably going to be at least a little bit annoying. 
Oh, optimistic, you say? I lied. There's a length of, I assume, copper wire, which will be used as a towing cable. It looks rather cable, so that's probably what we want. If you want to apply markings to your RAM, there's a convenient set of decals included. I've not yet used Bronco decals, but they do look rather good. If these markings aren't to your liking, there's probably aftermarket options out there. And finally, the instructions. This is a large format booklet, and I certainly appreciate that it is a booklet. As with everything else in this kit, I haven't tried using these yet, but they look to be well laid out and easy to understand and follow. There's a couple of little extra pictures to show you how certain parts should look and how they should sit on the tank, which I'm really pleased to see. I think I've complained about a lack of that sort of thing a lot lately. I do think these instructions are going to be decent, but if there are any issues, I'll certainly let you know in the build video. The last couple of pages have painting and marking guides, and as always they're kind of basic, but they do work as a starting point, and for most of us it's probably helpful to have a guide for the markings. Okay, so that's what's in the box. Lots of bits of plastic. Very mysterious and unexpected. I think this kit will go together pretty well, and I don't anticipate any real problems. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, though with the number of track parts needing assembly, you can imagine it's probably going to take quite a bit of time. That's okay though. If you want to watch me build this live, I'll be streaming it over on Twitch, like pretty much everything else you see on this channel. You can find the link in the description below. Because I'm pretty excited about this, I will be starting soon. I don't yet have an actual start date planned, but if you're keen, keep an eye on my Twitch schedule or for notifications on Discord. I think it'll be good times, so you should be there. Except maybe the photo etch. That probably won't be good times, but if you want to potentially see my brain catch fire because I've said photo etch, you might like to watch live. Anyway, I might be waffling now, and I don't have any real insight here, and you've seen all of the sprues. So, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell for what I'm sure are good reasons. And if you'd like to see my videos a bit early before there's any ads, consider becoming a patron. You can find a link to Patreon and all of my other things like Discord and social media in the description below. Take care of yourselves, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching. Farewell.